I'm so excited. It's Dahlia time. This is to show you quickly the different sizes and shapes. I have to confess, I haven't checked on them all winter, so I'm hoping they're still in a good condition. Shredded paper was a good idea until now. Oh wow, so are you satisfied, Simba? <laughs> is this good work? <laughs> Hi everyone, the time has come again. It's Dahlia time. If you want some blooms early in your garden, it's time now, now being late March, early April, to pot them on. That way they can start growing and by the time you put them in the ground from mid-May onwards, when all risks of frost have passed, you have strong healthy plants and this is how you'll get blooms earlier. So today we're going to do just that. I have, I was going to say 16, but no, I bought a few more things. I have nearly 20 new varieties of dahlias to me that I'm going to grow this year in the garden. That's going to be a lot of pots. Okay, let's get started. So excited. If you've missed the Dahlia haul where I show all the varieties I'm going to be growing this year, I'll pop a link below. You should check that out. I'm so, so excited. So we're going to work on putting these on and also I have some Dahlias in storage that I grew last year. So we need to go check on those and also put those on. A lot of work. Did I mention that? I have my dahlias to plant here, stacks of pots, so at least two liters. They can be bigger, but then it uses more soil, of course, of more here and over there. I'm trying to protect as much as possible the decking now. Normally, you see the projects from here, the little meadow, but because I just resowed it, I want to avoid walking on it as much as possible to not damage seedlings. So we're on the decking. Over there, I have some compost to rebut everything. And I already prepared in advance a bunch of labels. I'm trying to reuse those as much as possible. That's why they look a bit scruffy. So start by picking a two liter pot. Pop a little bit of compost at the bottom. Pick the dahlia you want to pot up. Then make or find the label. Aha, it's ours. And dahlias come in all shapes and sizes. This one is more rounded tubers and you can give it a quick overview. If the tubers are too dried out, like this one, for example, they're not gonna grow. So you can remove those and remove also anything like this, for example, that's damaged. Then all you do is prep it in. Now I'm just going to repeat the process until all the dahlias are potted on. Ooh, can you see here? This is called an eye. Those are the new growth point, that little pink tip here. This is where the plant will throw its new bloom stalks. This is a really good sign. This dahlia is good, it's healthy, it's definitely going to grow. And notice here how the tubers are much more elongated. This is to show you quickly the different size and shapes of the tubers. See this one is starting growing. This one has really, really long tubers. Those are a bit more potato looking. trying to reuse plastic pots as much as possible so anything from plants that I buy at the store things that I had from the allotment from before just because otherwise that's a lot of plastic pots to buy so if you don't have two liter pots you can try to use whatever you have on hand the um, the point is that the tuber can fit in it and they can be sold around it for this one for example I think I'm going to need a slightly deeper pot let me grab that real quick Okay, I think this is a little bit more narrow, but yeah, in terms of, of depth, that's what we need. Ah. 
liters are really huge, so I couldn't fit them into two liter pots. I'm upgrading to three liters. Hopefully I'll have better luck. I tried to grow this last year and none of the tubers came up. We'll see. Once they're potted on, I'm going to keep them in these kind of crates or I also have flats. I don't know if the two liter pot fits in those or, you know, in any flats, anything that, you know, makes them easy to carry around. And ideally you want to leave those in a frost free place and in a place with a lot of light so that they can start growing on. So this is why I'm using crates because, you know, the garden is really small. Then the sun is on the decking where we want to spend time and, and use the space so I can just move them out of the way as I need. The way you said it slides, Simba. <laughs> Is this good work? If you don't have a cold frame or a heated space, be ready to protect them with some frost protection. <laughs> Not sure anything's going to grow that meadow. This is a playing ground. It's time to check on the dahlias. These are the dahlias that I had in storage in the garage. Last year, at the end of the season, I cut down the foliage of the dahlias, lifted them from the ground, let them dry for a couple of days, brushed off all the soil, and then discarded anything that was broken or damaged give them a really thorough clean and then store them in those cardboard boxes. For the storage medium, I used shredded paper because it's very lightweight and can nestle really well around the tubers. I have to confess, I haven't checked on them all winter, so I'm hoping they're still in a good condition. Let's have a look. Oh. Let's see. Oh wow, that's pretty desiccated. Okay, let's see for the first box. How oh, this is a little bit shriveled. What else do I have? Oh no. Super soft, really shriveled. Oh no. You can see here, this is, you know, looking really good. Nice and firm still. It's not shriveled at all, so I'm pretty happy with this. The exploration continues. I think this was Mexican star. I have a couple of those. Can you see that it's growing? Ah, oh, it's so exciting. This is in a really good shape. I'm pretty pleased with that overall. Oh, another one growing. Oh, wow. This one is shooting up as well. I really want to be planted. Look how huge these got. <laughs> okay. Paper, shredded paper was a good idea until now that it, it is a little bit messy now. I have shreds of paper everywhere on the decking, so make sure you protect the area a little bit better if you use the same method than I did. So I'm pretty pleased. The tubers I had in storage from last year look pretty good. I'm not going to put them on right now because I'm running off space in the sun here where they can start to grow on. So I'm going to finish inspecting them, remove the ones that are too shriveled or that I've completely desiccated and are not going to grow and repack the ones that look promising. And I'll direct plant them probably next month in the middle of May. Kind of have strapped those two together to save some label. This was my love, gorgeous white dahlia. And one of them completely shriveled. You can see here, the tuber is completely gone. But the other one is growing nicely. This is probably one of the ones that I'm going to pot on because the eyes are very vigorous. Okay, <laughs> so a mess. Definitely should have thought of this a little bit better, put some kind of tarp because I have a lot to clean up. But I'm pretty happy. This is my keep pile, so all the ones that stored really well. So most of them really, and a lot of them have already growth point like this. So those are the eyes, the new shoots for next year. You can see over here as well. 
this still firm to the touch not desiccated you know looking looking really good this is the <laughs> maybe pile this one has a lot of okay tubers but also a lot of damaged ones so i think it will still grow and this one i'm not too sure because it looks pretty shriveled so still worth giving it a go though this is the pile of tubers that didn't work so in total i had one two three four five six seven eight eight tubers that didn't quite make it so those are the ones where you really like all the th the, the tubers is gone okay <laughs> this one this one there's there's nothing there anymore so those really are not going to grow so this is going for the compost pile and all of these i'm going to put back into some of the boxes because i'm not quite ready to plant them yet thanks for watching this video i hope you found it helpful and i'll see you next week bye <laughs>